Hey guys, it's Kim and today I'm going to be getting into Bowser's Fury because apparently there's been more information leaked about it, including the opening, power-ups, and other things. So I really want to deep dive into the overview they released as well as the intro and such. Well, let's break it down a bit. Whoa. Oh, okay, there's no sound. We saw the M though, like Shadow Mario did it, which we saw Bowser Jr. as well in the actual trailer itself. But Mario fell into another universe by the looks of it, and he's free falling into the world that is Bowser Fury. Wow. The fact that it starts off with Bowser Jr. possibly bringing Mario into it, like how he was in Sunshine as Shadow Mario, and he would paint on different buildings, and that's how Mario, of course, would be transported through the game into different parts of the world. So I think that either Bowser Jr. did it to lure Mario in there, or he just did it to get in, and then Mario, of course, followed afterward. <laughs> well, that's just his fault. And then it leads us into the world that is Bowser's Fury. Plus a whole lot more. Okay. This time, yes. Bigger. He looks yeah. incredible, yeah. dude. Like he looks Bowser's actually Fury. fierce. He looks Super formidable for Super once. Gear, yes. But you cheap. And it's so weird how this real cat. <gasps> the graffiti so painting. That's so cool. Furious. We can, he's always furious. My father likes that. Cat shines. Come on. Cat shines, dude. Okay. So that's gonna be the thing you earn this game. So have moons or shine sprites. It's a combination. Stars. It is so cool how open it is. Like, I wonder if it allows for non-linear play. Because 3D World is linear, mostly. Well, kind of, sort of. Surprisingly, he's helpful. <laughs> Dang. Why do you have to come for his neck like that? Oh! Oh, cool. That's why. I thought he was just your companion, like a partner system in Paper Mario. Interesting. Co op's nice. Plessy! Watch us miss the cat shines on Plessy as per usual. Because your aim's off, the depth perception messes you over. After a certain amount of time, the world changes. Really? Wait. What? Bowser it changes gradually? Fury. He becomes the gigantic fury. So it's a build-up. Interesting. Falling spikes will change the terrain. Oh! His mighty attacks will keep you guessing. That's kind of a cool system. Nowhere to hide. Wait, you have to evade him the entire time? I thought... Huh. But no one can stay mad forever. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Once he's gone, a calm will wash over Lake Lap Cat. Hmm. Lake Lap Cat. Is that what they said? No time to relax, though. If you wish to defeat Fury Bowser, you must Giga Bell. the might of the Giga Bell. This feels like 3D World where Behold, Bowser surprises you and gets the Cat Bell suit. An yeah. Awakening in the Giga Bell. By gathering the Cat Shines, wow. Mario has broken the seal on the Giga Bell, allowing him to transform. Yep. People are making comparisons, comparisons to like Dragon Ball with this and stuff like that. <laughs> Reminds me of Naruto, actually. Like they tell beasts against each other. Oh no, they're having amiibo compatibility. That's more money out of your pocket. Oh no, they have White Cat. <laughs> Sometimes I just did that if I didn't feel like doing it the normal way. I was just like, whatever. I just gotta get to the end, get the, you know, collectibles. Whoa. That was close. Amiibo. Interesting. Collectible stamps are still a thing. Uh, yeah, Lake Lapcat is actually the world that is called, featuring cat themed enemies, architecture, and more. You. Let's see. Oh, Bowser Jr. will still appear if you're playing solo, aiding the player. It's not clear if online co op is supported at this time. Fury Bowser will attack players using powers that can destroy cover. Fury Bowser's appearance is sees spikes fall in the sky and changing, ter changing terrain. After an unspecified amount of time, Fury Bowser will retreat, which we saw returning Lake Lab Catch Gnome for a time. So, interesting. Collecting enough cat shines will allow you to pick up the Giga Bell power-up. I think that's just about it. I mean, unless I miss something, I would rather just like wait till the game comes out anyway and just go more into it. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this take on the Bowser's Fury edition. We still don't know a lot about it. We've seen this one world, but there could be so much more to it because I feel like there's going to be a lot for it to have so much going on and 
we don't really know about what Bowser's, you know, abilities are. We don't really know where Bowser Jr. will be in that fight. We don't really know a lot of things, and I think that's really actually preferred is to keep a lot of the mystery until the game's release. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys, and smiles all around.